What's up, convoy? Today I'm finishing up an EGR valve replacement on a Volvo D13. I'm going to tell you some of the problems that uh, is associated with uh, doing this job. Uh, first off, the oil supply and return line. They always seize up on these things, and they can be a pain in the ass. Normally what I do is where this, this line goes into the EGR valve, I'll actually either drill a hole into the thread boss where that thread's into. That way I can get PB blast down in there and get it loosened up. But a lot of times what happens, they seize up back here on the back of the line itself. So what I do, I, I break the thread bo boss off of it. It's never, uh, they've never re returned the uh, the core. They always accept the core charge. You see I've got some holes drilled in here to, to get this free. Because uh, I try to break it free before I actually cut the uh, thread boss up. But uh, if, if you have to uh, uh, b break the thread boss off of where this line goes into, uh, you, you get this out. And then actually I'll break this loose because this one always, always, always seized up as well back in here. And then I'll actually break it loose just because this whole line will start turning because everything will be seized up. And then I'll turn the entire EGR valve off of the second line. And then I get heat and PB blast back and forth uh, on each of these lines. And then they free up eventually. They always do. You don't want to break these because it just uh, gives you more cost and labor involved. Uh, the most important thing, the biggest pain in the ass that always happens with these EGR valve replacements on these motors are these four bolts that hold the EGR valve onto the manifold itself. Now this manifold is about $700. So I suggest you try to get these bolts out, not break them off. They're pretty notorious. And I'll give you a little secret that I do that works pretty well. I'll start off with trying to drill a hole into the thread bosses of the, uh, of the mounting bolts himself and get PB Blast down in there. And you just got to work them back and forth, back and forth. You got to be real patient with this because they will break. They're pretty long bolts. They stick out about this far. <clears throat> and uh, if you break them off, you're going to have more uh, more time and cost in trying to extract the broken bolts. And if they're down in there, a lot of times you cannot extract them. And then you got the cost and labor of replacing a manifold. So try to extract it. You have to be super patient. But here's what I do. I drill a hole and get PB blast and work them and work them. And if that's not working well, I actually take a cutting wheel and cut down into the thread boss to give you more exposure. You could either do this or drill more holes, but it's easier and faster just to cut a slit in it like this. You could do this, this, and this bottom one you have to cut a, a slit in. Unless you have a 90 degree drill, which sometimes it doesn't work, you don't go in straight. You can do these three. And then this one button down here, there's really nothing you can do with the EGR valve still in there. So that one took me about three hours to extract uh, just back and forth back and forth and about two cans of uh, 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 PB blaster so in case any of you guys need to do this job there's some little bit of secrets for you so you don't have to you know spend more or waste more time on anything else just a uh, little helpful tips for you guys